All right, this morning we're going to talk about a couple of things that uh, I went over yesterday with you uh, in, in that, that video of operating a uh, dealership from an RV. Now let me tell you what qualifies. I've had some comments on some, uh, uh, or some questions about which states qualify uh, for this uh, type of dealership. And uh, all it really boils down to is the states that allow you to operate a dealership from your residence. And a couple of these states that uh, do have this uh, provision uh, for you to operate a wholesale dealership, so which is, this is my preference, operating wholesale dealerships, as I've discussed earlier. A couple of those states are uh, Arizona, Alabama, uh, there are more, uh, but if you are operating in a state uh, and you're interested in knowing that, you simply just pull up the uh, state requirements for dealerships. Now, there's no such thing as a, a retail uh, dealership, and let me correct that when I say there's no such thing. Some states allow you to operate even a retail dealership from a residence, uh, providing that residence has, uh, meets the sign regulations and the phone regulations, the filing cabinet regulations. But with a wholesale dealership, uh, you can operate from your residence, you can sell to other dealers, you can export cars to other states. Uh, you can only not retail in your state uh, if you have a wholesale license uh, uh, in any other state, but you can uh, send that car out through eBay. You can send it out through, uh, you know, anybody out of your state uh, is what that you are required uh, to do when you have a wholesale license or to other dealers. Now, again, I find that my wholesale license, it, it gives me the privilege to work through so many retail dealers if I need them by having those credentials um, it opens up the doors to retail for me uh, because I can simply walk into another dealer retail dealer if I'm having some difficulties I've got credibility because I do possess a wholesale license and those dealers always welcome wholesalers so if you're inquiring about which states you can uh, operate in uh, out of your residence, out of a residence, or any type of small dwelling, or any type of dwelling at all, uh, you look it up in your um, the state that you're interested in requirements. Now, in particularly Arizona and Alabama, and two that I'm familiar with, uh, residency is very easy to acquire in those states. Uh, basically, you've got to spend <clears throat> not that much time getting a, a valid residence there uh, and a driver's license in those states. And then you're free to travel about other states. You're free to wholesale cars uh, throughout the nation. Uh, this, this just works for me. It's, it's the, the way that I like to go. I have a lot of people say, well, you, you operate in one state and you have a valid uh, driver's license. I have residences in, in other states and that's the way that I'm able to uh, acquire uh, those dealer's licenses. So, uh, you know, that's one of the first things that you want to do is pull it up and look at the, the state that you're interested in and see if they have a valid uh, wholesale dealer's license that you can operate from your residence. Now, I do want to point out that getting these UPS uh, boxes uh, or, or anything like that will not work. You, you're not going to be able to get use these places as a, an address to do business at. You're going to have to have a valid address. It can even be a friend's residence in those states uh, as long as you have an association with that valid address. Uh, for instance, if you have a friend uh, 
in Arizona or you have a friend in Alabama and if they will allow you to use their residence, that's going to qualify uh, for uh, that wholesale dealer's license. Uh, be sure to look at your uh, uh, state that you're interested in and, and really that's all that's required. If, it's a, if you can operate a wholesale dealership from a residence, you're in like Flint. I hope you find this uh, information useful. Uh, please like and share this channel if you do.